Hi, in this tutorial we would like to find the optimum portfolios for several coins uh, based on the risk that we are willing to take and what you see here is uh, all of the portfolios that have been uh, plotted and there are some portfolios that will perform better than others have a higher return and higher sharp ratio which are called efficient frontier if you would like to read more about efficient frontier you can check investopedia and um, the coins i have selected for this optimization are the ones that i showed in my previous video finding the top coins which i compared all the coins listed on binance and then uh, checked which ones have performed better and as you see uh, these are 10 except the ethereum which is ethereum is only for comparison and the coins I have uh, chosen are these ones. So I have included Ethereum as a major cryptocurrency, more stable, and then Binance. Uh, here, Binance has performed the best. And then uh, Tron, the same. Also, this red red one is Tron. And uh, VeChain also. So this is uh, the uh, blue one. So it has performed also good. EOS also here as we see has performed good so these ones I have uh, chosen so quickly over the first part of the code that I explained explained in my previous videos uh, I import keys that I have uh, saved in a different file in a separate file and then these two we don't need I think but uh, this one from binance.client import client uh, which is to connect to the uh, Binance exchange then we copy our API key and secret key in client and we get the historical prices so what we do here is uh, put the symbol that we want interval which is the uh, time frame I want the daily prices uh, start time is uh, 1st of January 2018 to last day of april which is the first quarter of uh, 2018 <clears throat> and the same for binance tron vchain and eos and then for some uh, mathematical operations numpy and for tables pandas then putting everything into a nice data frame and uh, so the data we have here we make uh, data frames out of them and we put the name of the columns on top this is based on the uh, API description <clears throat> and then uh, we convert the, the daytime string to daytime format and also set the index open time and convert the close prices which are strings to float type for further mathematical operations and now we can see how our table look like so this is for ethereum we have open high low close prices and then we have the open time as index uh, very um, clean and then uh, what we need to do uh, before starting is to see how correlated these coins the price of these coins that we have chosen are and for that what we do is we concatenate the uh, the close prices of each of these and for that we just select the close prices of each and then put the name uh, for columns coins dot columns is uh, done like this and then get the correlation as we see unfortunately uh, vchain has a very high correlation with uh, um, some of the coins as you can see it's 75 percent 7.75 and all, all with both eos and ethereum so maybe it's it's better to not talk not to consider the the coins that have high correlation but we just this is for demonstration so uh, 
then what we need to do is uh, calculate the sharp ratio now for doing that we need both the returns and volatility so in my previous video I calculated based on a standard deviation um, so volatility was just simple standard deviation but this time we calculate covariance which is uh, slightly uh, slightly better than simple standard deviation and then uh, for daily return we have coins that we had that percent change and uh, default is one here and then drop uh, non values multiplied by the period so usually sharp ratio is calculated for one year but because for in cryptocurrencies uh, world there are some many coins that haven't been around for the past year so I, I just put a shorter period and 90 days and you multiply both the days uh, the returns and uh, covariance by 90 and this is the covariance and then uh, in this demonstration what we do is that uh, we, uh, we go over many uh, trial and errors kind of like guesses and there's another way that I just show you quickly uh, is is this example from Plotly uh, in this case the best the optimum portfolios have been uh, calculated by mathematical uh, operations and Plotly is a plotting library that produces uh, interactive plots as you can see if I just hover over the uh, dots you can see the standard deviation and the mean so this is another um, way of doing it but in this case uh, we just make lots of portfolios and then find the best ones so I just initial initializing some uh, empty lists like this and then uh, 10,000 portfolios uh, so we make a for loop for portfolio in range of number of portfolios which is 1000 and then you have some weights these weights are what we are going to um, allocate to the each coin so these are the allocation percentages so we have five coins and we make uh, random weights for each of these coins then divided by the sum of the weights so each weight is uh, uh, the sum of all the weights finally is one and then uh, we make the we calculate the returns this is the, the dot product of weights multiplied by uh, q1 returns and uh, volatility formula is uh, like this this is the weights transposed and then not the, the dot product of covariance and weights so this is how it's calculated and the sharp is the returns divided by volatility and then we append all of these that we have calculated to the list the empty list that we uh, initialized here so then for graphing and to see what how it look like import matplotlib and seaborn to make it uh, more beautiful and to make it interactive we can have matplotlib notebook uh, so to drawing is simply just scatter of all the portfolios and adding a color bar here as you can see and giving a title x label y label and then showing the uh, whole uh, all of the portfolios and as you can see these ones are have the highest return and so based on the risk that we are willing to take we can choose one of these ones so just for a quick show and if we take the, the maximum sharp ratio uh, it's 1.888 and to find the weights for this we get the index and uh, the weights are these ones so 72% uh, Ethereum 37% Binance and as you can see this is the highest share ratio which considers uh, 
a standard deviation or volatility so and if we you are only thinking about uh, minimum volatility uh, we will consider 61% ethereum and as you can see and if we only care about highest return we are not going to buy ethereum but we go all for um, Binance and Tron. So Binance and Tron have had very high volatility. And just to uh, see how they look like over the time from the the, the first of January, as you can see, for example, uh, this is V Chain. Yes. So it V Chain has been very volatile. So it we consider that as well. So that's why it doesn't get the highest percentage although it has been performing the best from the first day and this is the method to use and you can use for a bunch of coins that you are considering and uh, arrive to the best uh, portfolio that uh, can be calculated thank you for